When I mentioned to another noble friend that I was planning to make my maiden speech on the 9th of May, they said in rather more colourful language than this, really? That's Europe Day. Are you going to talk about Brexit? That's a subject I do not intend to revisit, at least today. Are you going as far as saying that had uh, these institutions not cheated, in your words, then the outcome of the referendum might have been different? Is that what you're saying? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is completely. I think it is completely reasonable to say that there could have been a different outcome in the referendum. You know, had there not been, in my view, cheating. On the ground game, let's talk about that three hundred and fifty million pound figure. Because you say you make no apology for it, but you promised something you couldn't deliver, and you knew you couldn't deliver three hundred and fifty million pounds being spent on the NHS. So you lied effectively. I disagree. A referendum campaign is very different to um, an election in the sense that you don't have to tell the truth. We're a campaign team. We're campaigning for a certain result. And we hoped that the government would use that money for the NHS. Right, of but you didn't say that. Didn't you have... said, let's give our NHS the £350 million the EU takes every week. That was disputed, that £350 million was sent to the EU. In fact, it was disproved that it was actually sent to the EU. But then to promise that amount of money, which then people distanced themselves from immediately afterwards, was dishonest. I think the key point was that it could have been delivered by the government. We would have liked, liked to have been delivered by the government, but... Uh, vote leave didn't become the government afterwards. The Queen stays out of politics, so though during the campaign it was said that she was actually in favour of Brexit and sceptical about the EU.